I'm Ed Watson, the product demonstrator for Case IH in the UK and Ireland. Here we have the new Maxim multi-controller with the Active Drive 8 transmission. I'm going to run through setting up a few of the key features within this transmission. We're going to look at setting up the brake to clutch feature known as the Active Clutch 2. With this feature we can put our foot on the brake to bring the tractor to a standstill without having to use the clutch. As soon as we let go of the brake the tractor will then begin to accelerate again. With this feature we can also have an inching control so if we're reversing up to trailers or anything like that we can use the brake pedal to inch towards the implement. We're going to look at setting it with the Pro 700 screen. To enter the menu to activate the Active Clutch 2 we press the transmission symbol in the top left hand area of the screen. You can see down here we have the settings for the Active Clutch 2 and we have four settings. Off where the tractor will work as a conventional tractor where we need to use the clutch when we come to a stop. Then we have low, medium and high. So if we have it in low I have to put a light pressure on the brake pedal to bring the tractor to a stop. If I then put it in high, I have to exert higher force on the brake pedal to bring the tractor to a stop. The active clutch feature is ideal for loader work, round balers, inching up to implements and also on the road when coming to junctions. If the tractor isn't fitted with a 700 screen, we can activate the active clutch 2 within the instrument cluster. To do this, I need to press and hold the program button within the first five seconds of the ignition coming on. This brings us to the configure menu. Using the up and down arrows I can then go down to active clutch and here I have the same settings for off, low, medium and high. I can then go down and select whichever value I want and then exit back to the main run screens. Therefore we don't need a 700 screen to activate the active clutch too. When I want to bring the tractor to a stop I can just put my foot on the brake, no need for the clutch and we'll come to a standstill. When I want to move off again I just release the brake pedal and accelerate away. If I'm backing up to an implement or we're on a loader and we want to use an inching control I can slightly release or feather the brake pedal until I inch forward where we have more precise control over our movement when backing up to implements, trailers or using it on a loader. To activate the auto road mode we need to press the button with the trailer symbol and the green light will become illuminated. As soon as we start to move, this will become solid. This will indicate we're in the auto road mode. You can see on the screen here which gears the auto road mode is going to work between. So currently it's going to work between B1 and C8. In auto road we can upshift automatically between all power shift gears in range B and in range C. So currently it's going to work between B1 and C8. If I then go into B1, into forward and then increase the gears, you will notice that now on the right hand side you can see we're going to work between C1 and C8. C1 and C8. If I then manually decrease the gear, you can see we're increasing our span to use all gears within range B and C. All gears within range B and C. We can have the option of the Eco Power lever. With the lever fully rearward, it's in Eco mode meaning it upshifts early and late downshifts. If we push the lever fully forward we are more in a power mode 
This means that it upshifts late and downshifts early. This button here is the shuttle aggressiveness. With one light on, it's gonna be a smooth transition from forward to reverse. With three lights on, it's gonna be a more aggressive transition from forward to reverse. Number one would be more suitable for road applications. Number two, for field applications. And number three, where we're getting a very aggressive shuttle from forward to reverse, would be more suitable for loader applications. So with this transmission we have a smooth shift option. We have three options, on, off or auto. So when we have it on, when we change gear, either upshifting or downshifting, the engine RPM will fluctuate to match the gear speeds to get a smoother shift. If we have it on off, when we make a gear change, the engine RPM will remain exactly the same, resulting in a slightly more aggressive shift of gears. When we have it in auto, it will operate normally, so increase or decrease engine RPMs when we shift. As soon as we engage the PTO, it will go to the off position automatically, meaning we're getting a constant engine speed with no fluctuations as we shift gear. So we can have the memory shuttle here. In the on position, we can have a different forward and reverse gear. When we shuttle from forward to reverse, we could have the forward gear higher or lower than the reverse gear. This is very useful on loader applications. If we have it in the off position, both our forward and reverse gears are gonna be identical when we shuttle from forward to reverse. The forward and reverse gears are both on B5. So as I shuttle from forward to reverse, it's going to remain in B5 in forward and B5 in reverse. As soon as I turn the memory shuttle on, I can select a different reverse gear so if we put the tractor in reverse, decrease the gear, so B2 in reverse, B5 in forward, B2 in reverse.